First up, there was some cultural entertainment on show. Then it was down to the business of unveiling the modern FT reactor, which is set to be used in the kerosene research project. Companies led by Cecil and academic institutions from both South Africa and Germany have joined forces to research making kerosene, that is jet fuel oil, more carbon neutral. This is a culmination of many years of uh, Fisher Trops technology that Sasol has been using. And I, and I can put it in context, it's over 70 years. So, so it, 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 it was really starting from that basis that we over many years developed different generations of catalyst technology systems. And today we are launching Kerosene, which is the fourth generation of our Fisher Trops catalyst system that we hope that will be better and more efficient and lasting longer than any of the other generations we have before. President Cyril Maposa has hailed the joint project, saying the two countries will work together to ensure a just energy transition. He also spoke about the great opportunity for South Africa to produce green energy that Germany and other European states are set to consume as they wean themselves off fossil fuels. Sasol, together with the Industrial Development Corporation and the Northern Cape government is developing a project in Bukhubai to use our excellent solar and wind resources to export green hydrogen at a massive scale. We have Chancellor Schulz by choice chosen this economic path, the green hydrogen, to further develop our economic development. This includes the opportunity to supply green hydrogen to the European Union, which is looking to import 10 million tons a year by 2030. And this you have confirmed in a number of conversations we have had, particularly in relation to Germany's needs. The German government has been instrumental in getting the kerosene project underway. It's funded the research to the tune of 40 million euros so far and says the world's challenges have to be dealt with by nations working together, as in this instance. The research project that was introduced today with the beautiful name Kerosene impresses by its innovative and comprehensive approach combining the challenges and opportunities of the chemicals industry and the aviation industry. The scientists and engineers behind the Kerosene project are hoping that their catalytic work with Kerosene will be sufficiently proven within the next three years with the greater hope of being able to market the greener technology at commercial scale by 2025 resulting in the global aviation industry reducing its carbon footprint by some margin. Nampumela Lossiziba, SABC News, Johannesburg.